Hello. We are live. We're live. Hello. Okay. We are at South by Southwest 17, and we are at Aussies at South by Southwest. And it's a packed room over there. You can't see it, but yeah, it is. <laughs> um, and yeah, we're meeting some, some new people. Yeah. And can you tell us your name and what do you do? Okay, my name is Sarah Gunn. I'm from Adelaide and I run a social enterprise and we uh, provide event design and management to big corporates and all our employees are homeless people. That's amazing. Sarah, you said? Sarah. Sarah. Yeah. And you told me that you had this uh, interesting, really, idea what you want to yes. do and how you want to take it uh, to the next level, yes. which is, I thought, really, really an idea. Do you want to share that with us? I would like to. So my idea is that um, because we have a great track record of um, delivering great events in Adelaide with our homeless team, um, I've come back to South by Southwest this year in the hope that um, I could find an opportunity to run an event with some partners. Um, in Austin next year where we can engage Austin's homeless people to run that event. So we can, uh, from Australia, bring an idea that leaves a positive social legacy to add on to all the other great things that are happening here at South by Southwest. Well, I wish you really good luck. That's a brilliant idea and I think it should and will work here next year. We were talking about, because this, this meetup has been very popular, mm. it's a packed room, maybe that could sort of... Um, help out and uh, if we can sort of do something together next year that could be an Aussie sort of thing. That right? would be amazing. It would yeah. be fabulous. Thank you. Well, let's yeah. stay in contact. Uh, is there any I mean, it's only first day at, at South by here. What's the interesting yes. things that you've seen? Where have you been? Um, well, I, uh, the, I saw the keynote this morning from um, Senator Corey, oh now I'm going to forget his name, um, from New Jersey and he was Amazing! He was extraordinary. Actually, I tweeted him and said, perhaps you should be the next president of the United <laughs> States. Um, a very sensible and sincere um, man. And then I've been to a couple of startups, and uh, uh, startup pitches. Yep. Um, we're really just getting going here, yeah, aren't we? There, yeah. There's four more days. Four more days. Excellent. Very busy days. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Thank George. You. See you later. Okay. Bye. See I'll see you later. Do you want to? Do I see someone else here? Ellison, do you want to have a few words? What is it? It's a Facebook Live. Hey. Hello. Hey, baby. Hello. How are you doing? Uh, well, thank you for being part of Pause, actually. That yeah. was a pretty amazing panel you had. Thank you very much. And you're also speaking at South By. I am. I am. What's, what's the panel at South By? It's called um, Virtual Life to Drag, Queering VR. Yeah. Um, I'm talking about the Virtual Drag Project, yeah. um, which was made about 18 months ago and has been in. It, it won't die. It just keeps going. Um, we showed it. We showed it um, the Kunst Museum last month. So um, it just keeps getting more and more showings. Um, but I'm meeting up with a couple of queer VR artists that I've been following for a few years. So yep. I get to meet them, which is awesome. Excellent. And who yeah. else is uh, on a panel there? A woman called uh, Liz Lafleur and um, Ilya Sizek. Yeah. Yep. Fantastic. And is there is there anything else that you'll be looking forward to see at, at South by this year? I am really hoping to get to see Jill Soloway. Okay. She's, she's giving a keynote speech tomorrow, so yeah. that's what I want to do. You're going to be lining up for that. I'll get in early. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Excellent. Uh, you're staying here for all interactive? I'll be all here till, till the 19th, yeah. 19th. Okay, yeah. so you're going film, um, music, everything. I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm just going to yeah. wander around. Excellent. Yeah. Well, thanks for being here. No worries. Good and to see like, you. Yeah, good to see you too. Yeah. See well, let's see what else we have here. Um, let's check it out if what's up in here. But I guess they have to be here. Maybe we can wrap it up. How are you going, guys? Good, good. It's pretty busy in here. Hey, do you mind if, if we have a little interview, someone of you? Would you like to have, a, have an interview? Uh, sure. Just a few, few questions. I'll do it like this. Um, Hi. Well, we never met. We, I just saw you. I thought maybe just asking you. Just walked in. Uh, can you tell me who you are, what, what you do? Yeah, my name's Eddie Fitzgibbon. Um, I'm from Australia. Now I live in New York. I uh, start having my own consulting business uh, in sports and sports tech. Uh, but clients like uh, Liverpool Football Club, uh, Pitch International, which is a UK-based sports agency, um, International Cricket Council. So 
first time in South by Southwest. Uh, looking forward to learning and getting yep. into it. Excellent. Is there anything particular looking forward to to see and hear about? Yeah, there's a couple of days of sports conferences uh, over the next couple of days. Just really keen on uh, seeing. Um, Looking forward to seeing Mark Cuban, I think on, on Monday he's doing a presentation on sports and tech, which is going to be really interesting, um, and also you know, enjoying the sights and sounds of, of Austin, so yeah, a bit of, bit of work and a bit of play as well. Where, where is the tech in sports? Where, where is it? Where is it? What's happening there? Um, uh, I mean, there's a lot, what, what I'm hearing, there's a lot of that in the U.S., a lot more than in Australia. No, uh, Australia's actually pretty good. I mean, I, I, I don't live in Australia and mm. I've, I've been out of the country for seven years, um, so I don't know, but I know there's like, the tech industry in sport is really strong. I mean, Australia and America have a very strong relationship uh, together from a whole number of different genres, whether it be art, whether it be music, and they tend to share quite a lot of best practice. Um, so, look, America is, I think, still the, the leader, generally speaking, in in tech and sport, but Australia is certainly certainly up there, and they do use a lot of like, best practice from America in in making sure that tech does um, what they need to do back in Australia in sport. So yeah, it's, it's it's close. Excellent. What else uh, do you have? Anything else that you want to sort of look look into side by, or uh, um, is, there, have, is there any anything particular? Any tips or? No, nah, just maybe see a bit of music, eat a, eat a bit of barbecue. Uh, this is my first time, so I don't really yeah. know what to expect. Austin um, is good for that. Yeah, I think I'm just going to wander around, enjoy in, enjoy the city, and yeah, go and see the things I want to go see. It's pretty friendly, right? It is. Well, thank you very oh, much. No worries. Cheers. Bye. Bye. I'm going to see if I can get Lil. Lil. Can I get you on a Facebook Live? Do you want to talk? Interview? Ah, interview. And there is someone I haven't seen for a while. Hello. Hello. Hi. Lil. George. Lovely to see you. And great to see you. Straight from New York City. <laughs> New York City. And not as far as you had to travel. Yeah. I only had a five and a half hour flight. And you had, what, 18? Yeah, flights? something like 20 probably stacking up because I had like a five hours in, in L.A. You're doing, pretty, you're doing yeah. pretty well. Yeah, I'm holding up. Uh, what's what's the New York for you now? What, what's it like? What, what, well, yeah, what, what do you do in New York? Uh, so I run the strategy strategy team and division in New York. It's a very, very small team. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's a hard market, but it's really challenging. Yeah. yeah. Is there anything particular that you've noticed that is... Uh, different in a way that the business is done in Australia. Uh, is there anything that you see a big potential that you've done in Australia that's not done in US, in, in, in New York, or I mean, every state is different, right? But yeah, I think there's a lot of universal truths that um, that cross over from Australia and the United States as well, um, and that's uh, the appetite for risk. Some companies just don't have any appetite for risk, so you really have to introduce them to, you know ideas and tactics and strategies very slowly and then there are some people who are like yes we want to do that so they don't ask you just, questions no, yeah, no just you like, just have to read the room yeah. you know you read the room or read the middle of the dance floor to see what they you know what they really have that appetite or not yeah yeah excellent and it's your first time at South by it is yeah do you, do you have anything particular that you want to sort of check out no my philosophy is to not have a schedule yeah. Actually, you can do that here, and it's actually pretty good. The yeah. more you actually stress out about missing something, yeah. the worse it is. Yeah, I just have blinders on. I'm just like, I'm just going to go with the flow, and um, you know, I don't know what I don't know, so I don't have any fear of missing out of anything. So yeah. I'm just been following people and tagging along to things, and that's yeah, been it's, it's really great. Well. It's really great to to uh, bump into into people from all over the world here and just chat about their experiences, their lives, where they work, how they do things, have some beers and yeah, have fun. Yeah, and, and how have you found it? I mean, you've been here for how many years now? It's been now three years. Okay. I, feel, I feel like I've been here longer, but it's been three years and uh, every year I kind of uh, getting more closer and closer to the state that you're, you're in. <laughs> First year, I was like, I just I'm not going to care. Yeah. I, well, I'm not going to care much. <laughs> I'm just going to get along with, with, yeah. with some sort of some events and sessions but kind of just really want to discover what else yeah. is there and yeah. get lost um, which is easy easy to do here but you have to sort of have some guidelines of what you're going to see and yeah. then 
where you kind of want to kind of be lost. Yeah, that's for me this year. Uh, and also see what are the trends, what are the speakers, um, see what, what could what could do with pause next year. This is all kind of a, an eye opener for me. But mostly is a great opportunity to to network with people and really kind of yeah expand your mind and, and, and networking so um, network. Yeah, I mean, I haven't been to many talks, but my favorite ones are the ones where they're really niche or really unexpected, or they bring disparate things together. Like yeah. we went to one this morning, it was on um, the idea of the concept of the universal basic income. And for me, that was fascinating because there were economists talking about it and actually bringing up or building a really strong case for universal basic income. And then there was like someone talking about the cultural ramifications and then the policy makers. And so it was just... Yeah, that work to me was really, you know, firing up my synapses, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I guess um, companies and governments are starting to experiment a little bit with their old systems. And I've heard that someone in northern Europe is kind of maybe doing the, the universal salary system yeah. or trying it out. I'm not sure. That, I don't know, I remember it was Finland or something like yeah. that. I remember, but they're, yeah, they're doing that. And this is what I learned, that um, policy, policy makers actually do A-B testing. Yep. I didn't know this. Nice. So, yeah, they just basically experiment as well. And I didn't, I hadn't realized, I thought that they would have to go through rigorous evaluations. But they use, um, you know... Emailing system for A-B testing. <laughs> maybe, maybe. They're using a mail chip. Well, yeah, exactly. Well, everything is about, well, everything's about experimentation and testing yeah. and... Yeah, and See how it performs in a market. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's great. I mean, a lot, a lot of that kind of stuff that you never thought of or are discussed here, and that's why I love South by. Yeah. Because it's just like a things that you want to hear, and there's all the, all this other stuff that you don't even know about. Yeah, and also things that you can borrow from other industries and sectors, like concepts and, and ideas. Like there was this idea of effective um, altruism. Yeah. Effective altruism. I'm like, wow, that's that's an interesting concept because it's almost an oxymoron. It's like, how do you actually bring that into other industries? Like creativity, that's almost a conceptual thing. People don't see that as a very practical, um, doesn't have any ROI or that sort of stuff or that thinking. So how can you actually bring in data to drive that as well? See, notice I say data instead of data now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. America's crawling in. Oh, I've had to adapt quickly. <laughs> Because they're like, what is that? Yeah, that I understand. Me. <laughs> Excellent. Well, it's been a really pleasure seeing you again. Yeah, likewise. And enjoy South by. All right, and let's okay. grab a drink later. Yeah, we'll drink later. <laughs> Thanks. See ya. Well, this is it. We're going to wrap up. There's a lot more people here. Um, I'm going to try to chat with you more and enjoy. See you later. <laughs>